Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Adri from Elena Babayantz. Hope I pronounced that right. All right. I was, well, you know what? I was feeling in the mood for something a little different. And this tangle popped up. And I'm like, oh, that looks. It looks like it could be a challenge. Let's just see. And you know what? Not not so much. And and <laughs> for those that um, that say, oh, I, I I I can't draw a straight line. This one is perfect. <laughs> so oh, I love it. All right. So it starts off in wherever you want to place it. This would be your center or close to center. We're gonna draw an orb. And then you'll notice in the step out, actually both in mine and in Elena's, and th those are in the description section, links to those. And also check out the story. It's a cute uh, story, the inspiration for um, for the name of the tangle anyway. And if you've not done this before, I, and, and I always like to explain things because I don't know who's watching, and I don't like to assume that everyone knows, so... Therefore, I will always work to explain things to um, to the newest set of eyes and, and ears out there. Okay, so you see the little dot. It looks like a we call it we call it a pearl, but that's the shine. And one thing that I found to make it easy to add that shine is so done the orb and then draw a little circle like to one side. And and this is also if you don't have a white uh, um, gel pen where you can add that. And so then you can kind of take away from it a little bit. You can play with it just to see how it looks like. And I will tell you, the one thing I have to do is kind of look away or just wait until the whole thing is done and then look back and it's like, whoa, look at how neat that looks. It's like when I look at other people's work, it's like, oh, that's absolutely amazing. And, you know, then I'm looking at my own going, oh, <laughs> But then a lot of times you don't look at it for a while. And then if you have been following, then I have the, oh my gosh, who did that moment? Who's, who, who, who is in here drawing on my stuff? And it, it, there's something about just uh, stepping back, stepping away a little bit. Don't look at it for a while. Come back and you see it with a new set of eyes. Kind of like life sometimes, right? Sometimes we have to take a step back, reassess, or just focus on something else and it's all good. So that's how you do that shine. If you don't, um, well, actually, sometimes it's kind of nice to do it this way, but if you don't have a white gel pen, this is perfect. If you do, then you can just, you know, put a little dot in there, but this is a nice way to do it too. Okay. Actually, it's, it's a nice way to do it even if you have a white gel pen. All right. Then, yeah, th this is... Uh, um, this is one where I just have to not think about it too much. So I'm going to pick, pick a place to start. And we're going to draw a um, a very shaky kind of curved line coming around. And I'm just going to do it to show you. So coming off of this orb. And just, you know, and if your hand isn't necessarily shaky, go have a bunch of caffeine and come back. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it almost looks like, um, well, no, it's a backward C. Oh, it almost looks like an, uh, the beginning of an at sign. All right, then we're going to aura that, aura-ish. Aura you know, we're coming around, and uh, I don't know, it looks like an ear. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> you know, we're not auraing exactly. Just do it shaky as well, okay? Then, coming up a little bit further on the orb, and what we want to do for this next thing is we're going to continue to do just like this going around and you'll see one thing we want to make sure and I'm going to go ahead and do this is we leave a bit of separation between the two and then we're not coming back to here you know you just come and then end it at some point and this is where you know you just get to decide where that is now one thing I did notice is if I want to make this kind of even, I have to, you have to kind of watch and play a little bit. And then also this section right here, when I, I, when I was first playing with it, I, I didn't have this 
very open and so then I ran out of room but it still turned out okay so that's another thing just to watch for is like okay when you do this first one maybe leave it a little open that way you can see what you can fit um, in here okay then I'm gonna do another one and again like I'm, I'm just watching how um, like I said I want it to be to be sort of, even isn't the right word I want these to be well placed so that way this actually is in the center of things center ish I like to say center ish and let's see I can fit one more through here so let's just do that well and that's not well that's really interesting <laughs> and in the end you know what it doesn't matter as you can see look at how neat that looks so here's what I'm here's what I'm talking about it's like so th like this side ends up being um it's just different you know it's I don't I actually don't know huh, maybe you can make it so that way like this is in the center and then you have what looks like petals all the way around you know I, I that I'm not sure but what I do know is you don't have to stop right here because just because we we finished and you know with this last one and kind of closed off and you might want to aim for that um, in so because otherwise it's I don't know you would say it's a little difficult you just have to figure out okay if, if you have um, more of a gap and you still and you don't have room here what I noticed on Elena's step out is she started some like right from here I was like oh okay good it's it to me it's nice to know all right well when I get this filled up and I still have room what else can I do and also in her step out and I kind of did it on mine in the last box not as well of course as hers but if you want to just add bits um guess what you can just like this so i'm just starting at a place and going to and you know stopping at another place <laughs> this makes me think of uh a little bit of diva dance and, and may, or maybe it's because uh in one of hers she kind of had it paired with uh, diva dance and um but so you can play with it and that is what's fun and she well that should have been a little bit thicker and the reason you want to have a nice distance well i think maybe the the biggest reason is so that way we could do some shading but you see it turns out really really neat and i love that it doesn't matter well that it's, it's actually designed with 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 this um Kind of jittery line and it's lovely okay so for some shading ideas i'm going to put a little bit of graphite on the outside and i'm going light on the, well let's see i can't even barely see let's see <laughs> it's like okay yes that is an outside and i am going to go over that one so this is the first one i did okay then so on the outside rim of all of these maybe not the outside I'm not sure but maybe at the same time <laughs> how's that for being decisive and I'm having trouble saying okay no where well this is just one it may be I'm not doing I shouldn't try to do them in order that's that's gonna be well since well, let's just go on the outside because oh and then here <laughs> and sometimes I like to sometimes I can't wait to see what it does so then I I will um, use the tortillon um, before I do more but this time I, I just want it all to pop all at the same time well it's not technically at the same time right because as I as I use the tortillon on them now I'm I'm also picturing doing this with um, oh I guess I got them all with a uh, a chalk pencil colored chalk pencil 
that could look really, really neat. So I'm just going to start somewhere. And actually, let's see. Let me... Oh, this one's poked out a little bit. But I have a feeling... Oh, not too bad. I was having a feeling I had a lot of graphite packed up on there. <laughs> you know, and if you if you don't know this trick, while I'm... Oh, that looks neat already. Um, while I'm doing this, you can unfurl a paper clip. So this is like a large paper clip. And just, you know, put it in the end of the tortillon if it gets, ma you know, if this the end gets too mashed down and you can poke it right out there. And I wanted something a little bit where I had more of a tip because I don't want it to go too far because I have just this little space. I should start in the middle here. Let's try, let's try here. And I'm kind of just doing a back and forth motion. I uh, usually will use a, a circular motion, even if it's, you know, just a little bit to bring the graphite out. But because we have just a little area, I want it to come out a little bit and create a bit of a gradient, but not take over the entire space. Now, in here towards the center, just like you would naturally if you yeah, if you were looking at something in the, and it was uh, had layers, it's going to be darker in the center anyway. So that part doesn't bother me so much. And then working to be careful, no, except for there, um, to not get the graphite in this section. I want to keep it on the outside. But, you know, I have a little bit inside and it's, you know, it's all right. And sometimes, like, just like there where the tortillon just got away from me. Okay, now where have I missed? Oh, right, right here. They do make, I think that, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure they have different sizes of tortillons. Um, I know with the stump, uh, which a stump is different, and I have one that's really thin somewhere. This is, is like solid paper, and uh, where you can use a sharpener and stuff on it. Where this is just wound up paper, I usually end up taping the ends because they end up um, unraveling as I, you know, use them a lot. And I don't necessarily need to throw it away if, it, if that's the only issue with it. Because sometimes it's nice when they get a little bit worn on the end. All right, I think that I got all of it. Let's see what that looks. Oh my goodness. Look at how cool that looks. Now, you could probably, see like this one is, is kind of wide. You could Put some on the inside as well if you wanted to and what that would do inside i mean inside of, of of the aura and what that would end up doing is really popping out just that aura section and that could look cool as well but i think i like it this way because if you're thinking petals you know this is part of it you, you know like from uh from here to here is part of it and so i want to keep that in there and this is one of those things where uh, it's your tangle. You get to decide how you want to shade it, and it's okay. And I had started to say with the chalk pencils, that could look really neat as well, just to add a little bit of color. And it would just be in, you know, in what you've, uh, do it, doing it instead of the graphite. And that could be a neat look as well. So just other ways to have fun with this. All right. Fun tangle. Fun tangle. So if you enjoyed it, would love to have a thumbs up. Um, feel free to comment too in the in the comment section. I know that 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 the thumbs up and the and comments help with you know whatever the YouTube algorithm is. It just that helps to put it in front of other people, and I certainly appreciate that. Um, if you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I do post a, a one quickie a day, and then occasionally I will post um, uh, session replays because I do classes every week. 
uh, I have uh, at least one a month. Once a month, I'm bringing on a twice uh, a second one a month uh, that has a fee to it. But I have weekly classes that are free classes sessions. I like to. I'm trying to work sessions into my language more than classes because we do have a lot of fun, um, and we just play with the tangle something like this. And and it like I said, it's great fun. And I, I'll post those replays as well. So with I want to let you know that because when you subscribe, make sure you you select how you want to be notified because if you're, well, I'll just tell you how I am. I don't like my phone blowing up every time somebody posts a video, even if I love them. I, you know, it's like, nope, I just like to go to, go to YouTube, you know, and I can see my subscriptions there. I can see who has new content and then I can watch it because I would hate to have it be where you, you know, you would get annoyed at, you know, oh my gosh, there she's publishing a, she's posting again. Oh, you know, and then to, to unsubscribe. So I would rather have you just set no notifications, please, because that's what I do. Anyway, just a little, just a little YouTube tip. <laughs> oh, and um, yeah, in the description section below, if you're interested in, in uh, checking out live classes, uh, that would be uh, on my website. We also have a really great Facebook community. If you're on Facebook and want to join us, I would love to have you. I have a, a couple of, uh, Question, required questions because I want to keep the uh, the group with you know with a you know kind of a, a good a good mission and a good tone and um, but yeah would love to have you join us check us out all right thanks so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.